what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel Ooh, energy healing tarot one two three it's your girl empress jim here to drop some jewels and fix this camera <laughs> but guys this is the monthly energy read for october for cancer all placements general message but i wanted to say thank you thank you thank you i've reached over 200 subscribers and i couldn't do it without you all so thank you again i will drop a video with a special announcement and all that other good 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 soon but um yeah again guys continue to show your girl support like comment share subscribe to the channel follow me over on the social media page looking for the personal go over to mnmenergy.com we got our product line up there guys assisting you on your spiritual journey again i'm just like forever grateful and thankful i thank you guys we made over 200 right so cutting to the chase here Cancer. I was hearing like somebody, somebody needs to get out more. <laughs> you need to get out more. You need to get around your friends. You need to get around your people. Um, whoa, geez, serious. Okay, whatever. No, got some in reverse, whatever. But um, yeah, like you, you, you need to get out. Um, I'm hearing you, some of you just like, it's not the fact that you feel you need to get out some of you really do need to get out that could be out of a situation or just simply out of the house okay um hook up with your friends go out for a drink you know go sit out on somebody's patio you know at a bar or something while the weather is still appropriate you know get out and enjoy a little bit of life right now um i feel you know you guys just need to break out of your show some of you've been sitting in hermit mode for god knows why only you and him right but it's just, I don't know, it's like it's dampening your mood here, water baby. Okay? So if you guys feel some kind of way. Uh, yeah, happy October. You know, we got two full moons this month. First one is in rotation right now, which is a full moon in Aries. Then for Halloween, we get our full moon in Taurus, or the blue moon, right? Oh, no, your girl ain't an astrologer. You know, I just, I read a little bit here and there, you know, keep my, keep my wits up, you know, so I can give you guys pertinent information, okay? Yeah, so you guys have been focused a lot on your money and stuff, and just, like, really keep into yourself, but it's like you're missing, uh, you're missing connections, guys. You're missing, yeah. ah, I can't make it up. You're missing connections, guys. You need people around you. You know, you guys are emotional, okay? Your water, your emotions. You need to have some folks around you. You know, you need conversation. You need the love. You need the feelings, okay? So as you see, I only shuffled two, de two decks on screen. Everything else has been shuffled for the sake of time. So let's get into your cards. Can't say your affirmation is engagement. What I say? Get your ass out. Get up some of this sun. Start taking that vitamin D, the pill, okay? <laughs> some of you might even need that a little bit in your life, you know. Again, touch, connection, this is what you guys need. But engagement. Today I make the conscious choice to engage with the world in an active way. I'll take a new route and talk to strangers. I will smell flowers and pet dogs and maybe walk around barefoot for a while if I'm not inside a 7-Eleven. At the very least... At the very least, I'll have a day that's slightly more interesting than average. And at the most, I'll have a startling epiphany or make a friend who will change my life forever. No pressure, okay? So no pressure here, Cancer. <laughs> Unless you want to keep sitting in this woe is me type energy. Patience, guys, okay? You've been patient long enough. Some of you still need patience, you know, trying to engage in people that you don't need to engage with, okay? But um, just have patience with yourself. Be kind to yourself right now. Um, be patient with your process. Uh, set some of that work stuff in the back burner. Get out and enjoy life a little bit, okay? It's very deserving right now for you. So let's get your crystal. You got highlight. I love working with highlight. But highlight, also known as white turquoise, is all about reveling and simplicity. Often the real power exists in what's left out. See Japanese aesthetics, Swedish interiors. Highlight's dreamy slate cleaning energy helps you discern exactly what you don't need so you can train your focus on exactly what to do. 
who needs it overstimulated minimalist living in a maximalist world where to put it wherever you need some breathing room and when to use it when you need a break from the never-ending onslaught of dms meeting requests and trending stories less is more none is most highlight can help in other words organize your head space okay so you could like i said you could even have these offers and these invites sitting and you're just you're overwhelmed you don't want to deal some of you do need to deal and get out because i feel like some of these friends been trying to link up with you like all summer but you've just been like in hermit mode it's time to come out okay i just heard i'm coming now but um underneath you got to kite um tech tight sorry i'll show you guys this one actually Ooh. in other words this is raise your vibration okay vibe high be patient with yourself get out there and enjoy life it will help you lift those vibrations as well okay so, five card spread, let's get it. Main energy around October is four of wands or foundation and achievements. Your stability, your home life. Some of you may be needing to leave home. Some of you are probably moving into a new home and trying to make it feel homely, okay? Housewarming, I'm hearing, okay? Get your friends around, get some friends involved. You know, have a drink night or whatever where you guys just sit up and chit chat and, you know, brainstorm ideas, you know, talk to the people you live with, your roommates or whoever, and figure out, you know, what color do we put on this living room wall? Okay. Um, yeah, but this is coming together, feeling at peace, feeling stable and feeling at home here. New beginnings. That's why some of you guys, you know, could be in your own place now. And you're just looking around like, okay, what kind of furniture? What kind of this? Reach out to your friends. Those invites that you have for, you know, just time alone or, you know, movie night or whatever. Take folks up on their offers. You'll be surprised by the amount of insight you can receive from those around you. What you know about this energy is emotional loss, okay? Yeah, you're emotional right now. Like I said, you need touch. You need to feel um, you're feeling alone, okay? Like I said, that lonely feeling. You need people around you, folks around you. Call up that friend that you've been ignoring. They're still around. They're still waiting. Um, hit up that family member, that brother, that sister. You know, call your mom, call your dad. Whoever is near and dear to your heart or someone that you can relate to, link up with them because you know right now that you're down and you are in need. I'm also... Hearing some of you could be homesick, you know, had to move away from home because I see water behind this guy like you had to move across water or you could be across seas, you know, and you're missing home right now. Um, video time them, Facebook chat them, you know, all that. Technology today makes communication like boundary free to a great extent. OK, so even write a letter if you need to or just. Get a journal and write those thoughts out and just keep a journal of letters, you know, whatever, whatever you want to say to folks. So just get these things out. But you're harboring a lot of, you know, like loss and feeling alone and loneliness and homesickness, you know, address those things within you. What the universe is trying to show you is six of wands. OK, victory and success. You're on the right path. You're doing the right things. Here we go with that moon energy. I'm getting that red. I'm picking up Aries. So definitely this Aries moon. October 1st, 2nd, you know, this new moon that this new full moon that we're in. OK. Victory and success is upon you. OK. Again, that's that shining light. I picked up moon energy off it, but it's just a light shining. OK. The trumpets have blown. But again, I'm still feeling the Aries moon energy here It's really going to cause a lot of shifts. It's going to be time for you to open up you know, step out of your comfort zone. Don't be afraid to look over the edge. Take a leap off the edge. OK, um, go out and party, you know, join the marching band, make noise, let your hair down. OK, get wild, get crazy. You need to break free out of your shell, truly, because the time is now and the universe is telling you, telling you it's OK to do this. Like you have accomplished, you're accomplished. OK, um, you've worked very hard. It's time to reward yourself with some free time here. OK. You're deserving, okay? Lay down these burdens. If you want to know why you're, like, you're doing work, 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 and you're not putting time into yourself and the things that emotionally fulfill you, take a break. On your, you know, you have succeeded in every passionate venture that you could possibly 
succeeding right now, but I don't feel like you guys are going to be able to push any further if you don't address your emotional needs right now. So how do we get here? Cancer, okay, you being triumphant, you being determined, you going after your dreams and your passions, you staying busy, you always on the go, you moving, moving, moving swiftly from one project to another. Like I said, some of you guys moved, okay? You took on new jobs, higher promotions, you became more successful, you know, you you grew in all levels, you know, economic bracket, you know, where you had to go, people you had to leave behind, things like that. Like you just, you become triumphant in your life, you know, you took control of your life. And yeah, the flag that's hanging off of him, you went in charging full speed ahead, trying to get it done. Like I said, over the summer, people were trying to catch up with you over the summer. You were busy. Now you need to relax. Let that flag just hang. Like, Victory is yours, okay? Where are you going in the future? Ah, hope. All right, star energy here, Aquarius energy. You're healing, okay? You'll feel comforted, okay? You'll, the comfort will be there, okay? I'm seeing this, the heart sh chakra and the throat chakra illuminating heavy in here. I feel like you guys are going to put in the work, put in the action. You're going to reach out to people here, okay? Um... You're going to open up your heart. You're going to speak up for yourself. You're going to fulfill yourself. You're going to heal and fill up your cup so that you can continue to keep it moving. All right. Yeah. Heart chakra underneath the deck. Rejoice on celebration. Third party or three of cups or just celebrating, getting back with friends, reuniting with friends. OK. Family members, like I said, this is about you connecting with people so that because this is what you need right now. Like now you need people. You need emotional touch, feel, language. Okay, underneath the deck, lots of stress and worry going on here, okay? You guys are really stressed, staying up at night. Some of you have fallen in the funk, okay? That's what I'm saying. Get your vitamin D, especially with this hope card, this sun illuminating in the body. Get out in the sun. If, you know, you're not able to get too many sunlight hours, start taking vitamin D. I'm a registered nurse, like seriously, all jokes aside. Take vitamin D, that way it can help you, especially if you have like seasonal depression. Vitamin D is very and very important in your body in order to make every and anything else work, okay? If you keep those levels efficient, like you'll do fine, you'll coast through these cold seasons with no issues, okay? Some of you guys need some melatonin to help you with that insomnia. So yeah, there was some conflicts. You're feeling conflicted here because the situation ended. You know, in regards to this main energy here, like I said, some of you guys had to move. Um, a situation had to transform. Like, you feel conflicted now within yourself. You know, your guard's a little bit up about these new changes you had to make in your life. Like I said here, um, Scorpio energy, by the way. But, um, and like I said, some of you also had to leave home with this Eight of Cups underneath the deck. But... Um, you, you moved, you traveled, you grew up, some of you moved out. I feel like I'm talking to possibly some younger Cancerian energies who, you know, <laughs> welcome to the real world, uh, the adult world. You're adulting now, okay? I'm picking up adulting. Um, somebody's adulting right now, okay? Um, a little conflicted by it, you know, you knew it wasn't as easy. You watched your parents go through, you know, their ups and downs and their struggles or whoever, you know, raised you, whoever's household you was in. You watch, you know, the paying of the bills. And I mean, you knew it was some sort of a struggle, but now you're out on your own and it's a little bit different here, okay? A little conflicted, kind of got your guard up, trying to figure out things. Not sure if you really want to stay in a place that you're in or not. Missing your friends, missing your family, missing childhood. I'm picking up just, why did I have to grow up? <laughs> I don't want to grow up. Why? Why do I have these bills? Yeah. Your emotional loss. You feeling this way, feeling upset, feeling some sort of remorse and regret. Why did I move out? Why did I do this? Why did I move here? You know, why did I separate myself? It's interfering with your good luck here. And you know. You also know that what you need missing from your heart is also interfering from your ability to move forward here. Gemini energy, um, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, and Leo energy here. But it's like the decision that you made, the choices that you made, like you feel like you feel some sort of remorse and regret. Like, oh my gosh, like they really interfered with what I really wanted in life, you know, but no, like you're just feeling really conflicted by the fact that you're growing, okay? The universe is showing you that you are on the right path. You're on the path to victory and success. 
but it's like it's this doubt here like i said you just need to get out and get around people some more okay yeah you need to get out and get around folks some more okay you need to take action here you need to take action here you know Take action towards your passions. Don't let your heart and desires go down. A lot of you guys, like I said, you're sitting in determined mode. You kind of need to get out of this here. Stand in your truth here. Uh, Virgo energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, mostly Leo here or a feminine fire sign here. Libra energy here or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, feminine air sign type here. Or, you know, masculine, feminine, it's all in both of us, guys. I don't feel like I had to say that, but somebody just said something. So, But yeah, I do feel that, you know, you need to... Start to nurture yourself some more, okay? A lot of you guys have been sitting in a deep hermit situation where in some cases you guys need to get up out of that and start embracing life and living more. And for some of you, in order for you to like really stand in the truth and see what it is that you have, you know, your abundance, it's time for you to open up and like really take time away from being so like driven, okay? Okay. Get back out and enjoy life more. Like, that's what I'm hearing. Like, you need to take a step back from working so hard and being so driven towards your wand, your passions here. And try to get back in your heart space because you know the truth within yourself. Honestly, you know that you are missing, like, some emotional engagement. So, like, be honest with yourself here. Take a step back and be honest with yourself, okay? Organizing your head space with this energy here of the Queen of Swords. So we got here because, again, you guys were being successful. You were working on your success. You wanted to be successful, so you went charging after it. Simple as pie, right? Yeah, you went charging after it with this king of swords energy here. Knowing exactly what you wanted, having the knowledge and the tools to go and do it. So you just went straight for it. Went after that abundance, went for what you needed, okay? And in result of doing that and becoming successful, you know, charging after what it was you kind of you push some energy on you put energy on the back burner okay you push some things aside you push friends or family aside and now you're missing them okay you're missing them but you have hope moving forward here okay you will be restored you will be okay okay you will feel be fulfilled will feel fulfilled again okay but again you do need to walk away from things that are no longer emotionally serving you Okay, stop being so conflicted within yourself about these transformations and these new beginnings that are taking place in your life. They are rightfully yours. And you sitting here having this remorse and regret because of, you know, individuals that you had to put on the back burner while you went out to do your thing. You know, you're feeling some sort of remorse or regret for that. You got to cut that out because it is interfering with you a lot more like in your mind space. Okay. Yeah, hope. It's making me take them both. Cool. Um, yeah, feeling out of lack here, but you know you need to follow your intuition in regards to this lack situation that you're feeling. Like, you know you need to. That's the high priest is peeking out there, guys, okay? But you know you need to follow your intuition in regards to this lack situation. You need to charge, again, that same energy you had when you was going towards your passions here and your stability and your abundance. You need to continue to have that same energy, Okay cutting through any bullshit, any negativity, any negative thoughts in your minds, you know, any negative thought patterns here, okay? Yeah, bring peace to yourself. Heal. That's three swords. Heal yourself here. Do what's best and right for you with this hierophant here, with this Taurus energy. Um, pray, meditate, okay? I'm feeling the energy of the Most High, of God, whoever it is you pray to, the universe. I'm feeling that energy here. You need to fall back and allow the universe to do their do listen to the universe listen to yourself again do what's best for you um i just instantly picked up some of you guys might go to school or you know be in a bookstore or something like that engage go out places so that you can engage with individuals so that you can meet people who can help you on this journey okay and here we are leave with taurus energy here okay taurus twice it could be a taurus coming in your life to help build up this hope you could also be missing a taurus or need to make peace with a taurus in your life but either way do what's best for you so that you can continue to sit in this empress energy okay continue to be productive continue to live life in the highest vibrating form that you possibly can okay raising your vibrations all right you're not in a like situation. You just need your people. Okay.
underneath the deck, gratitude, okay? I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So, Spirit, we thank you for these messages. For Taurus, let's close them out for the month of October. Underneath, you guys got blame, okay? I accept responsibility for my well-being. Stop blaming yourself for working on yourself and don't allow people to put a guilt trip on you for working on yourself. They either need to accept this person that you're becoming or not. And if that's the case, don't allow them to make you have that five of cups feeling within yourself. And in the same breath, don't have that within yourself because you took time to work on you, okay? Health, all right? I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Continue to work on you. Do what is best for you. Same color energy here, okay? Heart chakra. Work on you. Do right now what is going to make you happy, okay? The card ain't here, but I'm... Oh, my God. <laughs> do what you need to do to make you happy, okay? Happiness. I'm aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. I ain't even going to explain that. So, Spirit... Closing out Moonology, final deck here. We thank you. It says bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Yes. We're moving into the age of Aquarius. So, What do we have for Cancer here? Really? Let me get that first. Okay, so under the deck, you have surrender to the divine, okay? Like I was saying with that hierophant energy here. You need to let it go and just let them do what they need to do here, okay? Full moon, which we have two this month, okay? And we're in a full moon of Aries right now. And I spoke on that for you guys, okay? Because I know you're going to get this message like the day after it, but whatever. It's time to release negativity, full moon and Scorpio, okay? By Halloween, you need to be releasing any negative thoughts you have by that full moon while we're in Scorpio season. That full moon is not in Scorpio, but will be in Scorpio season, so. A time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo, okay? Give a little, get a little, it'll help you. Here's that heart chakra energy I'm seeing again, okay? Give some time to those friends. Um, answer back to some of those DMs, okay? Those text messages, those invites out. Luck is on your sign, new moon and Sagittarius. And I'm going to pick up conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. Only because I know in November and December we have two eclipses coming up. Sagittarius is in both months, okay? So understand that things will get better for you by the end of the year, okay? And yep, it's a time for healing right now. Balsamic moon. It's a time to heal. So take that time to heal, okay? Get out there with your friends. Feng shui your home, your new home. Congratulations for those of you who have just moved, got new houses, things like that. But yeah, that has been your message, Cancer. I already know you know what to do with this information. Again, if you want a personal tailor to you, go ahead and hit me up. MNMenergy.com. And until next time, guys, peace out.